Okay, so we're going to be looking at really simple error handling here in PowerShell. And the reason that you would want to do this is because it can help you build more robust code and it can also help you troubleshoot your code when you're having problems. And to do that, we use the try catch statements. And the way it works is uh, you put your code that you want to be evaluated for errors inside of the try statement and if any errors happen inside of here um, they'll be passed to catch and then you can do different things with them you can either write them to a file you can output them to the screen um, so in this example here we have uh, an integer uh, variable and I'm assigning it a string and we all know what's gonna happen there so right down here I've got a little message that says you done goofed and write host is uh, outputting the current pipeline item now the current pipeline item in catch will be the error that was passed from try so um, that'll pass a, a little message of what happened so let's run this and you'll see that my code down here was executed you done goofed cannot convert potato to type system in 32 that makes sense and I am uh, I am aware of the problem now so let's go up here and fix the code and just put a integer value in there and when I run it no errors so it doesn't it doesn't say anything and that's it so if you have um, statements that that are causing trouble or um, you want to define what happens around a certain statement in case something does happen um, try catches is, is a really simple way to do that now over here there's there's lots of different um, error types I guess you could say uh, and in this catch area you can actually specify which kinds of uh, exceptions and errors that you want to that you want to catch uh, and system.exception is the highest level of that there's a whole hierarchy under it of, of different ones you can specify um, I don't you don't you don't need this from from what I've seen in my testing I think it defaults to the highest level uh, so if I put a, a string here run it 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 performs the same way and that's it so um, happy error catching happy error hunting happy happy I don't know just have a ha happy day see you later